Welcome to our channel. Today, we bring you an original story set in the universe of Elden Ring. Get ready to dive into Echo of the Ruins. In the lands between, where echoes of ancient battles still resonate, there existed a region forgotten by time, the ruins of Alaria. These ruins, covered in moss and vines, were all that remained of an ancient kingdom that once flourished under the protection of a benevolent dragon named Aldurian. Centuries ago, Aldurian was betrayed by those he protected. In his agony, he cast a curse over Ilaria, condemning its inhabitants to a shadowy existence. Since then, the ruins had been avoided by all, except the bravest or the most desperate. One day, a young woman named Lyra arrived at the ruins of Ilaria. Lyra was a seeker of knowledge, a scholar who had dedicated her life to unraveling the mysteries of the past. She had heard of Aldurian's curse and believed that somewhere in the ruins lay the key to undoing it. Armed with her wits and an ancient spellbook, Lyra ventured into the ruins. As she advanced, she encountered specters and shadows, the remnants of Ilaria's former inhabitants. But Lyra was undeterred, she knew she had to find the heart of the ruins, where Aldurian had cast his curse. During her exploration, Lyra discovered several hidden secrets. First, the Sanctuary of the Ancestors, an underground temple dedicated to Ilaria's ancient gods. Here, Lyra found inscriptions that narrated the kingdom's history and its relationship with Aldurian. She also found the Lost Library, a vast collection of books and scrolls containing forgotten and arcane knowledge. These texts described ancient rituals and spells, some of which could be useful in breaking the curse. Finally, she reached the Chamber of Echoes, a hall where voices of the past still resonated. Here, Lyra could hear fragments of conversations and events that occurred before the betrayal, giving her clues about the location of the Dark Crystal and the nature of the curse. After days of exploration, Lyra reached the hidden chamber beneath the ruins. In the center of the chamber, she found a Dark Crystal pulsing with sinister energy. Upon touching it, she was transported to a vision of the past, witnessing the betrayal of Valeria's inhabitants and Aldurian's pain. Lyra realized that the only way to break the curse was to redeem Aldurian's spirit. Using the knowledge from her spellbook, she summoned the dragon's spirit. Aldurian appeared, a majestic and imposing figure, but his eyes were filled with pain and rage. Lyra spoke to the dragon, explaining that not all of Valeria's inhabitants had been guilty of the betrayal and that many had suffered unjustly. With sincere words and a pure heart, Lyra managed to calm Aldurian's fury. The dragon, moved by her compassion, decided to lift the curse. With a powerful roar, Aldurian shattered the dark crystal, freeing the souls trapped in the ruins. The shadows dissipated, and the ruins began to bloom once more. Aldurian's redemption had a profound impact on the lands between. The ruins of Ilaria began to flourish again. The land, once barren and dark, was filled with life and vegetation. The inhabitants of the lands between began to return, rebuilding the kingdom and honoring Aldurian's memory. Aldurian, freed from his pain, decided to stay in Ilaria as its guardian once more. His presence brought peace and prosperity to the kingdom, and his wisdom guided Ilaria's new leaders. The texts and knowledge found by Lyra in the Lost Library were shared with scholars across the lands between. This led to a renaissance of arcane knowledge and magic, benefiting all the kingdoms. Lyra's story and her redemption of Aldurian became a legend. Her bravery and compassion inspired many to seek the truth and fight for justice, no matter the obstacles. Thanks to Lyra and Aldurian, the lands between found new hope. The story of Echo of the Ruins reminds us that even in the darkest moments, compassion and bravery can bring light and redemption. Thank you for watching our video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more stories like this. See you next time.